Do you want to build your application with GitHub Actions, but the standard agents are not powerful enough for your needs, and at the same time, you don't want to use self-hosted runners? Well, GitHub has just released the largest runners feature, and it's exactly what you need. Let's take a look at it. Hey, welcome back. I'm Cory Dave, and here we try and do DevOps just better. As I've mentioned in the intro, today we're going to take a look at the GitHub larger runners. We will see them in action, no pun intended, um, in a moment, but I think it's important having a bit of context around GitHub Actions runners first. Feel free to skip to the demo if you know already everything about GitHub Actions, you have the timestamps in the description. First of all, runners are basically the machines that execute jobs in a GitHub Actions workflow. A runner can clone your repository locally, install testing software, and then run commands that evaluate your code or build it. GitHub provides runners that they maintain, and you can use them to run your jobs. Each GitHub hosted runner is a new virtual machine hosted by GitHub with the runner application and other tools pre-installed. And it's available with Ubuntu Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. When you use a GitHub hosted runner, machine maintenance and upgrades are taken care of for you. Until now, they only had a single size of these runners with two cores and seven gig of RAM for the Windows and Linux runners, and three cores and 14 gig of RAM for Mac OS. And this meant that if your application needed more resources to be built or tested, you had to install your own runners on your own hardware or cloud of choice. And while this is not necessarily a huge problem, it comes with two downsides. First, you need to take care of the installation and upgrade of all the needed tools and libraries yourself. And second, your own hosted runners are not ephemeral, meaning that all the files, temporary folders, etc from the previous completed jobs are still on the machine. And this is where the new GitHub Larger Runners come into play. In fact, we now have the option of allocating a lot more resources to our runners, up to 64 cores and 256 gig of RAM, while having them still hosted and managed by GitHub directly. There are a couple of other differences between standard hosted runners and larger runners. Uh, I've added the link in the description below so you can check it out. All right, before we move to see how to enable and use the larger runners, hit the like button below if you're enjoying this video or you find it insightful. This will help obviously this video to be seen by more people so they can benefit from it. And of course, it will mean a lot to me, thanks. So how can we enable and use the larger runners? From your organization homepage, go to the settings, scroll down to actions and click on runners. Here you have the list of runners already associated to your organization. Next, click on the new runner button and pick new GitHub hosted runner. This takes you to the creation page and here you can give it a name, select the operating system, which could be Ubuntu Linux or Windows Server and macOS will be available soon and select the size from four cores, 16 gig of RAM all the way to 64 cores and 256 gig of RAM as we've seen before. You can set a maximum concurrency, which means how many runners can be created and run at the same time for parallel jobs and if you are on GitHub Enterprise, you can even assign a unique static public IP range for these runners. Click Create Runner and you're done. The creation was super easy, wasn't it? But how to use the new runners now? It's no different on how you would normally use any other runner. You can just edit your workflow YAML file and in the Run Zone field, use the name of the runner you've just created. In my case, using a lot of imagination, I called it my new runner. So that is what I'm going to use now. From now on, my workflow will use the new larger runner. It was not difficult, right? Another important thing to talk about is pricing. Compared to standard GitHub hosted runners, larger runners are built slightly differently. Larger runners, in fact, are only built at the per minute rate for the amount of time workflows work yeah. for the amount of time workflows are executed on them. There is no cost associated with creating a larger runner that is not being used by a workflow. Also, larger runners are not eligible for the use of the entitlement minutes on private repositories. For both private and public repositories, when larger runners are in use, they will always be built at the per minute rate. Last but not least, availability. Larger runners are available for organizations and enterprises using the GitHub team or GitHub Enterprise Cloud plans. All right, let me know in the comments below what you think about the larger runners, if you are using on or going to use them, and for what specific application or requirement. Also, check out this video over here in which I cover all the automation capabilities of GitHub Actions. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Corridor Day.